Is breakfast really the most important meal of the day, or have we been misled? Traditionally, breakfast has been hailed as essential for a vibrant start. Think back to the 1960s when Adele Davis famously advised eating breakfast like a king to maintain health and manage weight. Fast forward to today, and the landscape appears to be shifting. Studies reveal that as many as 15% of adults now regularly skip their morning meal. So let's dive into the arguments and see what modern science tells us about skipping breakfast. Why has breakfast been crowned the king of meals? The origins of breakfast as an essential meal are deeply entwined with history and culture. Let's delve into how breakfast earned its regal title. The spotlight on breakfast intensified in the 1960s when American nutritionist Adele Davis famously advised, eat breakfast like a king, lunch like a prince, and dinner like a pauper. Her words resonated widely, influencing not only public opinion, but also sparking a change in how food companies marketed breakfast products. This era saw the rise of breakfast cereals and other convenience foods, each touted as the perfect start to a productive day. Culturally, the emphasis on breakfast varies widely. In some countries, breakfast is a hearty, elaborate affair, while in others it's a quick, light meal. Despite these differences, the common thread is the belief in starting the day with nourishment. With such deep-rooted beliefs, let's see what the science actually says. First, let's look at why many still hold breakfast in high esteem. For generations, breakfast has been celebrated as a cornerstone of a healthy lifestyle. It's often hailed for its ability to jumpstart the metabolism. After a long night of fasting, a nutritious morning meal sparks the body's energy-burning processes, setting the metabolic tone for the day. Imagine the metabolism as a fire that needs to be kindled in the morning to effectively burn throughout the day. Moving beyond metabolism, breakfast also plays a crucial role in cognitive function. Numerous studies have shown that starting the day with a balanced meal can enhance concentration and improve performance at school or work. This is particularly evident among children and adolescents, where research links breakfast with improved memory and exam scores. It's like fueling your brain to run at its best, right from the start. Nutritionally, those who eat breakfast tend to have better overall nutrient intake compared to those who skip it. Breakfast eaters are more likely to meet their recommended daily intakes of vitamins and minerals. This meal often includes high-fiber foods, like whole grains and fruit, as well as protein sources such as eggs or yogurt, all of which contribute to a well-rounded diet. It's not just the first meal, but also a significant opportunity to nourish the body with essential nutrients that might be missed later in the day. Experts in the field of nutrition often advocate for breakfast for these reasons. For instance, the American Dietetic Association emphasizes the importance of breakfast in managing weight and maintaining a healthy diet. They point out that those who consume breakfast are less likely to be overweight, as it helps regulate appetite and reduces the likelihood of overeating later in the day. In summary, the case for breakfast is strong. It's seen not just as a meal, but as a strategic tool that benefits metabolism, cognitive function, and nutritional balance. Clearly breakfast has its champions, but what about the opposing viewpoint? Now, let's examine the reasons why skipping breakfast might not be as bad as you think. For many years, the mantra, breakfast is the most important meal of the day, has echoed through kitchen halls worldwide. However, modern dietary science presents a more nuanced view that challenges this age-old belief. Firstly, recent studies have begun to question the long-held assumption that skipping breakfast leads directly to obesity and poor health outcomes. A comprehensive review of research published in the British Medical Journal found no statistically significant effect that skipping breakfast had on weight gain. In fact, it suggested that those who skip breakfast might consume fewer calories throughout the day. Furthermore, the flexibility of meal timing has become a prominent feature in today's dietary practices. Traditionally, the structured schedule of three meals a day has dominated. However, with shifting work patterns and lifestyles, the rigid timing of meals is becoming less relevant. People now have the freedom to choose when they eat based on personal preference and lifestyle, rather than strict cultural norms. Intermittent fasting, which often involves skipping meals such as breakfast, has gained popularity as a lifestyle choice for many. This method of eating emphasizes when to eat rather than what to eat and research has shown it can lead to improvements in various health markers like blood sugar levels, cholesterol, and even longevity. The flexibility afforded by intermittent fasting showcases that the timing of meals can be adaptable and individualized. Additionally, the argument that breakfast kickstarts metabolism also faces scrutiny. 
metabolic rate is influenced by overall physical activity and muscle mass rather than meal timing. The critical factor is the total amount of food consumed throughout the day, not necessarily when it is consumed. In essence, while breakfast can be beneficial for some, it is not a one-size-fits-all meal. Personal dietary needs, lifestyle, and individual health goals play a significant role in determining if and when breakfast should be consumed. The plot thickens as we see valid points from both sides. But what does this mean for you? What do nutrition experts say about the necessity of breakfast? When diving into the varied world of nutrition, it becomes clear that one size does not fit all. Dr. Emily Markson, a nutritionist with a focus on metabolic health, emphasizes that breakfast can be a pivotal meal for individuals with certain metabolic issues. For those managing conditions like diabetes, eating a balanced breakfast can help stabilize blood sugar levels throughout the day, she explains. On the other end of the spectrum, Dr. Lucas Jennings, who specializes in intermittent fasting, presents a different viewpoint. Skipping breakfast can actually benefit those who practice intermittent fasting, enhancing metabolic flexibility and possibly even extending lifespan, he notes. This approach aligns with a lifestyle that is less about when you eat and more about what and how much you consume during your eating windows. Adding to the conversation, dietitian Sarah Gilbert points out the importance of aligning mealtimes with one's circadian rhythms. For some people, eating early in the day aligns better with their body's natural rhythms, potentially aiding in digestion and energy levels, she says. This perspective highlights that the timing of your meals can be as crucial as their content. Meanwhile, sports nutritionist Dr. Raj Patel focuses on the needs of athletes and active individuals. Skipping breakfast might be a missed opportunity for athletes who need a steady supply of calories to maintain energy levels and recover from intense training. He advises, suggesting that for this group, breakfast can indeed be the most important meal of the day. Lastly, holistic nutritionist Mia Yang provides a broader cultural perspective. In many cultures, breakfast isn't just about nutrition, it's a significant social activity. Missing this meal could mean missing out on important social interactions which are vital for mental health, she points out. With experts divided, the decision seems increasingly personal. After hearing from both sides, where does this leave us? In the grand scheme of things, the debate about whether breakfast is the most important meal of the day isn't just about whether you should or shouldn't eat right after you wake up. It's about understanding the intricate dance of nutrition science, which, like a complex melody, varies from one individual to another. Let's recap the essential melodies we've explored today. On one hand, breakfast has been celebrated as a foundational meal that sets the tempo for the day. It's like the opening act in a play that sets the stage for what's to come. It can kickstart metabolism, replenish glucose levels, and provide essential nutrients that might help in maintaining concentration and energy levels throughout the day. Conversely, there's a growing chorus suggesting that skipping breakfast might not necessarily be the villain it's often made out to be. For some, particularly those who don't feel hungry in the mornings or are following specific dietary regimens, omitting breakfast might actually be in harmony with their body's needs. And then, we have the diverse opinions of experts who remind us that nutrition is not a one-size-fits-all. What works harmoniously for one person might be completely off-key for another. The science is evolving, and so too should our understanding and approach to what we eat and when we eat it. So, how does one navigate this complex nutritional soundscape? Start by tuning into your own body's signals. Consider how you feel when you eat breakfast versus when you skip it. Does one routine seem to enhance your morning performance, or does it leave you feeling sluggish or uncomfortable? Think about your lifestyle, your health conditions, and your personal preferences. Are you someone who exercises in the morning and needs the fuel, or does your body perform better with a later start to eating? And here's a thought, nutrition, much like life, isn't always about adhering to strict rules. It's about finding the right balance that works uniquely for you. This might mean traditional breakfast foods in the morning, or it could mean your first meal is at noon. Remember, the best diet is the one that works for you. Nutrition is not one size fits all, so consider all factors and perhaps consult with a healthcare provider to make the best choice for your body. In the end, whether you feast in the morning or fast until lunch, the key is to ensure that your overall dietary pattern aligns with your health goals and needs. Listen to your body, be mindful of your choices, and let your individual health and well-being be the guide to your daily rhythm.